what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts here in the house once again for some more nirvana in fire we're doing episode 14 today hopefully you guys have been enjoying this series i know i have um you guys are awesome you've been killing the like button for those of you guys that have been watching the series and you're enjoying it you show up every day and you click on the video and i really do appreciate you for doing that okay so um last episode of course as i said did not have my girl in it but it's all right we got to see her plenty of her we got like 20 minutes we got probably i think it was probably around 20 like about 15 to 20 minutes of her on screen that episode was really really well done um talking about episode 12 it was just a great episode you know what i'm saying um so I'm, I'm good i'm satisfied i'm satisfied they've satisfied my thirst my thirst my thirstiness my th <laughs> my thirstiness for this character and just seeing her i still think that she is the most beautiful on the show not just because of her facial looks but just how she presents herself as such she just has this certain elegance even though all the women in the show carry themselves with a certain elegance there's just this 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 thing that this, this calmness and femininity about princess niwang it's just she exudes that i wouldn't be surprised if she's like that in real life to be honest but we also have the coup you know what i'm saying with marky yan um marky yan had wanted to kill the emperor he was his best friend basically became his brother-in-law you know what i'm saying I, but they were friends first you know what i mean and they made plans to basically grow up together and just grow together and stuff like that and you know dude was chosen to be emperor and it just became as he said the emperor and his subjects right so then he went as far as to take take his friend i don't know if they were married at the time but he just took her while she was pregnant the message was like y you're mine now you know what i'm saying and the thing about him is is that yo he can have as many women as he wants to have he's the emperor you know what i mean um and you can't have no arguments towards it you just have to accept it you just gotta be you just gotta be okay with it even if you're not okay with it you just gotta pretend like you're okay with it you know what i'm saying you can't retaliate he planned a retaliation after all these years I'm talking about 12 years in the making he's been waiting this anger has been bubbling up you know what i'm saying and may was able to talk him down um off of this cliff that he's heading over because he didn't realize that this would affect so many people I, I don't think he didn't realize i think he just didn't care because when you're angry you're angry and you're really not thinking about anybody else um being in anger is a very selfish thing you really don't think about anybody else but yourself when you're angry you know what i mean so it's great stuff man it's great stuff so if you guys are enjoying this series don't forget to like this video also and don't forget to comment whether you want to comment through the video or you want to comment after or you want to comment now tell me how much you're enjoying my reactions i really do appreciate it i try to respond to everybody that comments i notice i only have about three people commenting on these videos guys don't be afraid to say something man it's not hard i know you guys are enjoying the reactions let me know as much so i know that you guys are enjoying it you know what i mean you know what i mean all right let's jump into the episode i will see you guys after for the review如果侯爷心中对玉晶还有半分愧疚之意
。若我想置侯爷于死地，此事应该身在玄镜司中，又何必来此与你密谈呢？我的把柄在你手上，你却要对我网开一面，需要我如何回报啊？侯爷只管继续求仙访道。朝堂之事，请你静观其变。先生，这世上没有无缘无故的善意。你今天放过我，却又不图回报，我想知道先生是何用意。侯爷不忘臣妃，是为情；不忘灵帅，是为义。如今这世上，心中有情有义之人太少了。我能救一个是一个。侯爷只需记得我今日相劝，不再轻举妄动。祭台上的黑火，我自会处置。爷，恐怕，恐怕这不是誉王的意思。誉王并不知道此事。誉王何德何能啊？竟有先生这般人才。只怕不久之后，天下是他的了。Prince Yu is his nephew。侯爷与皇后毕竟是兄妹，若是誉王得了天下，有何不好吗？先生慧眼，难道看不出来吗？誉王是所有皇子当中最像陛下的，他和当年没有登基的陛下是一样的。别看他现在一副贤德的样子，可是他内心一样狠毒，一样的寒食心肠。嗯，是此是彼，难分你我。Damn！ 侯爷知道我是誉王的人，这么说不怕有什么不妥吗？怕是躲不过去的。如今先生，你坐在这里，你为刀俎，我为鱼肉。先生若想回我狠意，可是，如若先生是想驾驭我，侯爷不必多心。我只是随便问问。只要侯爷日后没有异动，这件事情，苏母不会再提起。Simple, just don't do shit. Su 先生，严某还有一句话。日后若是祸起萧墙，可否念在小儿与苏先生相结为友的份上，救他一命？嗨。Eugene is such an innocent kid, you know what I'm saying? Such an innocent kid, man. Mother's body is very beautiful. Yesterday, Tai Yi came to buy a house, saying it's very good. But how long do we have to wait for the next year to move on? Yes. 母后这一病，越是可就得意了。她还刻意在父皇面前举荐许淑妃代皇后之礼，抓紧了机会卖乖。母后身体能够安康，便是万福。今日伺候母后汤药，王妃辛苦了。I think this is his wife. Yeah, this is his wife. If I'm not. I don't know if he has multiple wives. I. 和尚叔的事情已经办妥了。哦，找到合适的人了。嗯，是个流浪汉，相貌与何文新有八分相似，在牢内放两天，再刻意装扮一下，文远伯绝对看不出破绽。嗯，殿下，真的要换吗？哎，有什么办法呢？谁让何敬中把他那个没出息的儿子当成宝贝一样？能帮的我也已经帮了。
把人带给齐敏吧，要干净些。像，真像。何大人，请吧。下去吧。是。何大人，虽然与令公子不完全一模一样，但足以瞒人耳目了。多谢齐大人、哎。何大人，你这是干什么？你我同僚，何须这个样子？齐大人救小儿这一命，便如同我儿再生父母啊。这件事还需隐秘，绝对不能走漏半点风声。我知道，再过两天就是新年了，但绝对不能让令公子在府中过年，得赶快把他送走，越远越好。Yeah, he has to send him away. Can't let him stay there. 为了一个吏部尚书，誉王居然使出了换死囚这样的下策。好啊，活该他再多陪一个刑部进去。此时，齐敏坐在野地，我们能察觉到石树侥幸。此时，何敬中已经将何文新从牢中接了出来。按道理来说，应该马上出城的，但不知道为什么，偷偷的又转回自己府里去了。何敬中的老母最是溺爱这个孙子了，大概是想再见一面吧。嗯，这样正好，给了我们一点时间，把文远博也叫上。只要能在何府抓个现行，誉王这个年可就过不好了。走，快点走啊！爹，我不想走，还有几天就过年了，你要把我送到哪里去啊？为了保命，不走不行啊！齐尚书再三嘱咐，不能让你在府中过年，趁着黑夜。快走吧，何大人！哦，干什么？你都放开我！这大晚上的，你要把贵公子送往何处啊？侯爷，侯爷，文远爵爷，你都看见了，这刑部的胆子到底有多大？你总该相信了吧？多谢侯爷，要不是侯爷您鼎力相助，我儿子的仇。就报不成了，文远伯，文远伯，走，跟我进宫去见陛下，走，爹，走，走，走，有事好商量，走，救我爹，文远伯 ，Damn bro， Jin Yu is like， 是谢玉，换球这件事情如此隐秘，他是怎么知道的？怎么知道的？现在已经无关紧要了，殿下。文远伯托着何敬中入了宫，此刻，太子门下的御史们，都在都在忙着写我的奏本呢。殿下，您得救我。Nah, bro, we sacrificing you today. <laughs> Is no way that Prince Yu is gonna object to this. If he goes along with this and try to save him, he's just putting himself. This is not. This is a lose-lose situation for him if he sides with him at this point. Because he got caught red-handed in 8K, not even 4K. He got caught in 8K. Get what I'm saying? This 年后两部尚书补缺的场面，一定会更加热闹的。可这样一来，东宫的气势，不是大大的压倒了誉王吗？其实太子手里最得意的，也无非就是个谢玉。兄长，是准备对付谢玉了？早就准备好了。I know y'all not about to give me one minute. Fengyang, you, Huang Enpu. 
次，宣太子及诸皇子进殿领赏，各府分食。谢父皇恩。玉金，你说我们严家算得上是忠良之臣吗？自然算是。可是这些世代忠贞热血，怎么就走到今天这个地步？父亲，此言何意啊？今日的礼行完了，走吧。父亲，嗯，您是继续回房清修，还是去丹房看丹炉呢？ No, he's gonna stay. You 乃是除夕之夜，去准备些酒菜，我们父子二人一起守岁。好，孩儿这就去准备。Okay, Marky Yan, he's not trash. Okay, he's not trash. 蒙大统领，公公。哎呀。这每年除夕之夜，蒙大统领总是素未宫中，真是辛苦了。职责所在，何言辛苦？<笑>今年陛下共赐十三道菜，送往十二家重臣府邸，有劳各位禁军兄弟们护送了。十三道，陛下特旨，今年穆王府赐两道菜。The Mu Palace, why? 时辰快到了，公公，请。Moo Palace is that where Princess is? I think that's where the Princess is. I'm not sure. 哎呀，不知不觉夜就深了啊！咱们四个老的先散了吧，他们年轻人在一块儿也可以自在些。是啊，热闹了一日。这身子还真有些乏了。走，嗯，父亲，父亲，嗯，这就散了。时辰还早呢，宫里的年菜都还没到。再说往年不都是一同守岁的吗？景睿啊，也不是就去睡了。我给你卓爹爹在书房里下下棋，你母亲想必跟卓夫人有很多话要讲。再说了，我们四个老的走了。你们年轻人在一块儿。不是可以更自在些吗？啊，还是岳父想得体贴。走吧，我带你去看那匹汉西马驹。Father in law， 现在？对呀、啊，现在。哎，啊，我也去，我也去。<笑>卓兄啊，请，请。What the hell? The hell? All right, I am confused. Who is his dad? Is it? Is it Marky? I think his name is, um, she. I think it's I think it's she. Um, Chi, is it Chi? Is it Matt? Is it is it Marky Chi? This is weird. I thought. I'm confused. I'm confused. I thought. Clear that up for me. So bad. Got Thor sword. What the hell? <laughs> Bro, what kind of sword is this? It's like every chance they get to tell us <laughs> about this, who subbed and timed this.
，朱副统领，是不是？是，就是昨晚辞菜没回来的那一对。什么差？朕把护卫攻城的重责全都交给了你，可是你疏漏到，竟让人在朕的宫墙外杀人。臣护卫失责，愿意领罪。领罪？领什么罪？除夕之夜，朕钦派的内奸，在禁军的护卫下，连命都保不住。你让朕怎么相信你能保卫好这座宫城？臣无可辩解，请陛下息怒。蒙之护卫不利，罪不可恕，杖责二十。是，谢陛下。蒙之，朕给你三十天彻查此案，若是查不到凶手，朕拿你试问。是。出什么事了？回郡主，刚刚传来消息。昨天晚上在宫城边上发生了命案，命案？昨夜？昨天是大年夜，能有什么命案？陛下昨夜按惯例分赐年菜给各个重臣府地，共派出十二队，最后只有十一队按时返回。禁军和巡防营查了一夜，才在宫城外不远处找到那一对七人的尸体。尸体？这些禁军皆是精锐，也都殊死拼斗过，最后被人全灭，可见定是高手所为。现场是否有留下什么可以追查的证据？我，先不要问这些细节。蒙大统领怎么样？慢点，慢点，慢点。I'm lashes, bro. Cheese. 停账二十。是，还限期三十天破案，否则另有重处。还是这么翻脸无情。老魏，你继续打探消息，有什么情况立即来报。是，青儿，嗯，这个消息很快就会传出去，我不希望穆王府的人在任何场合肆意多言。好。此案一出，蒙大统领处境堪忧，我是否需要进宫为他求情？铁雄回来了，跟我们预计的一致。蒙志被杖责二十，陛下限期三十日破案。我事先准备周全，现场绝对没有留下任何物证，也无人目击。你放心，蒙志绝对不会查到咱们头上来的。嗯，蒙志肯定查不到。我们要提防的人也不是蒙志。此话怎讲？不管陛下明面上怎么说，这件案子他不会只让蒙志来查。我相信陛下，真正要委派调查此案的，一定是玄镜司。哼，没有人证，也没有物证，就算是玄镜司来查，又能怎么样呢？没错，在当下夺嫡的局面中，任何无缘无故的指控，都只能称之为构陷。进宫求情再无必要，我担心的并不是蒙大哥目前的状况。而是整件案子日后的发展。日后的发展，没错。皇上并不会因为这一件案子，就怀疑蒙大哥统领禁军、守卫攻城的能力。兄长是担心，如果蒙大哥三十日内破不了案，罪名会加重。若旧案未破，新案又起，皇上对于蒙大哥的信任便会越来越低，这才是我真正担心的。凶手到底要干什么？凶手作案的动机，现在难以断定。或许是为了挑战皇权军威，又或许是想要试探禁军的防卫，以备日后的行动，或者就是冲着蒙大哥去的。此局已开，接下来，谢兄还有什么计划？昨夜内奸身边有六名禁军。又在宫墙根下，想要做得干净，必须得着凶这样的高手所为啊
，但是你我两家关系毕竟太过紧密，接下来的行动，卓兄不必出手了。那半年前，你让我在江湖上招揽高手进京，原来就是为了准备这个。嗯，这桩案子虽然动摇了陛下对蒙挚的信任。但终究有限。我这刚烧起来的炉火，可不能就这么让它凉下来。不过，自今日起，蒙挚一定会加大力度整顿。你要想再在禁军戒护范围内行事，恐怕就没那么容易了。偌大一个工程，百密一疏，禁军将士跟江湖高手对阵。本来就在劣势，更何况他在明，我在暗。All right, let's talk about it. Episode fourteen, man. Episode fourteen. Of course, we have in the beginning of the episode, because you guys think I don't take notes. I be taking notes. I be taking notes, bro. During the break between going from. The first part to the second part, I be taking notes, and then、um, sometimes I take notes right after as well. After I finish the episode, before I jump into the review, because I really want to give you guys a thorough review of what's going on. So, episode fourteen, of course, you know we got the beginning, the continue continuation of the conversation between、um, May and、um, Marky Yan, right? So he basically told him, "I'll keep it a secret. Just don't do anything stupid." I got this. You know what I'm saying. So,、um, basically, you know him promising that you know he can save people. You know you don't have too many people around with devotion and loyalty anymore, like Marky Yan. You know what I'm saying. So it's it's one of those things where、um, I I I look at this and I'm like, May is actually trying to put things into better. Hands put the 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 empire into better hands, right? I'm sorry, guys. All right, so、um, basically, also to、um, they try to to switch. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying they, they、um, basically they switched out place with with、um, Minister Her's son. <laughs> no. Don't call me on that. I'm trying to get used to these pronunciations because they're not English, okay? They're not English. So, Mr. Her sons is said it pronounced like her, not he, right? So they switched them out. That didn't quite work because they got privy to it. May leaked it um, to um, to um, to Marky. She, she. I think that's how he pronounced his name because it's like she. G G G G U G U not C U not C U but G because it's an X it's X I E right so um so you know who he is by now so um so they use the opportunity to take down of course Minister Her and um of course also the Minister of Justice that you know that's working with um Prince Yu of course so. On New Year's night, you know,、um, everything, everybody's happy, celebrating. People are getting gifts, blah, blah, blah.、Um, he sent some, sent some,、um, some royal dishes out to these twelve families, but one family got、um, was to get two instead of one. So for some reason,、um, you know, Marky、um, G. Basically instrumented this murder of these、um, dudes that are guarded. So basically, he was doing this to kind of、um, let the emperor lose like trust in Meng,、um, in general Meng, and stuff like that about the properties and stuff like that. And he also、um, he got all these martial arts experts from.、Um, Where did he say he gets the gets them from again? We him he was talking to this dude, this Zhao dude, or whatever.、Um, so, from me for a scene like this, them getting martial artists into the property like that and being 
getting them from the um it seems like i don't know if it's the what they call it. i think it's a g i don't know how to pronounce it i'm not even going to try the alliance <laughs> all right so um getting martial arts is from the pugilist i should say from the pugilist i don't know if it's from the same place that may is from or he is you know that he's been ruling over why they call him chief and stuff like that i don't know if it's them um they definitely say the pugilist world right so um throughout this entire thing i'm just watching this like let me tell you guys something about this show if you don't pay attention you will miss so much i will advise you guys if you are watching this for the first time with me pay attention okay pay attention because i literally have to be writing down notes on the computer typing it up and stuff like that just some things of what's happening during what scene and just having some bullet points for my reviews because it works out better for for me um talking about it that way at the end so of course you know because the empress couldn't show up you know consort you, <laughs> you know what i'm saying consort you is just all up in the emperor's grill you know what i'm saying and i'm really surprised that he's just all cozy with her and stuff like that and another thing that i'm asking why is why weren't why princess niwang wasn't at the palace that's another thing too i think somebody had mentioned that she's not like she's not the emperor's daughter she's just like um she's somebody else's daughter or she was adopted or something of the sort like that i think somebody did mention that but in any case regardless of it all yeah you know i'm saying it seems like i think they're the ones that live in the Mu palace right um, I believe so. I believe they're the ones from the Moo Palace. Um, Cause is her name? Is it Moo Niwang? Is it is it Moo Niwang? I think it is Moo Niwang. That's her name. I'm not sure. But in any case, regardless of that, things are moving quickly. You know what I'm saying? Well, not really quickly, but things are getting heated. You know, some wrenches are being thrown into May. You know, things are going on because he's like, he's a little bit worried about this because he needs Meng to to be in the exact position that he's in. So if Meng gets discredited and gets demoted or whatever the situation is, then it puts a lot of uh, um, part of the plan in jeopardy of what May is trying to do because he has these people in specific positions to get certain things done so he can use them as pieces on the chessboard to get what he needs to get done which is basically to usurp the, tr the throne and get prince jing there so that things can be a little bit more in order and get the empire maybe even reinstate him himself you know what i'm saying and and clear his family name so i think that's what he's trying to do it might be something different i don't know what it is but for the most part I'm really loving this. I like the fact that now we have Princess Niwang when she's meeting with him. There's just this huge smile on her face when she sees him. It's just this because she knows what's going on. She knows who it is and she's just happy to be around him. It doesn't mean that they have to be intimate or anything like that. She's just happy that he's alive and that, you know, if this plan works out the way how it works out they can be together again but as i said i feel like at the end of this story mate is going to die and that's going to be really sad um you know but i feel like he's going to accomplish this goal but in any case this is all i have to say about this episode thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man it's always a pleasure leave a like leave a comment and i will catch you guys for the next one man peace